Ian, Eric Davis, Hey to See Airstream, gonna give you a quick walk around on the 27 foot international. I know you've gotten a pretty up close and personal look at the 27, but let's take another quick look. I just wanna point out some details. Uh, right away, up front, stainless steel. Yeah, that's going to help with the protection, but above and beyond that, it's kind of the cool factor. You have, of course, these uh, beautiful radius panoramic windows. They create their own awnings, but also on the interior, you're going to have UV tempered glass, which means, number one, you've got all of that uh, protection, if you will, but you also have the cool factor. Then we have storage. All your storage is up front. These doors are better insulated than the actual train. That's the one cool thing about how Airstream hooks you up. Next thing is you've got the drop down cradle, full spare tire. You've got a pair of 30 pound propane tanks, 60 pounds of propane. You also have up front here the business end, which gives you the Barker lift system, which helps you level, and certainly when you're hooking up the trailer, makes it easy. And then you have a quick disconnect propane port so that you can hook up that gas grill, uh, maybe a space heater, using that low uh, input uh, propane. Kind of a cool thing. Come on around, got some things to show you. Okay, the 27 foot international. Now, what's really cool, first of all, you have the beautiful radius buck riveted windows on the international series, but here are your window wraps. And it literally takes a moment just to unfurl this entire uh, side port of all window awnings. Now, the great thing about the awning package is that it will help protect your refrigerator system. So not only is it the cool factor that goes with the look, but it also functions very properly, all manufactured by ZipD Corporation. Okay, the 27 foot, a couple of neat things. First of all, all of your uh, septic system is lighted and right underneath the front axle. What that does is protect any damage to, it's still PVC pipe. So, and it is lighted with LED lamps. You have an outdoor shower, both hot and cold running water. This is your lockable, potable water resource. That tank is situated in between the frame of the axles. What does that mean? Airstream will tell you, if you want to tow with water, go ahead, because it actually helps with the uh, driving down the road. You have your inlet port, which by the way, has a 65.5% regulator. So you're gonna regulate the flow of that water coming in. No issues with gaskets on the interior. Then you have kind of a cool thing. This is your black water flush valve. What that is, picture if you will, add an umbrella with the tines, high pressure water spinning inside that black tank to flush everything. You have an undermounted port where you can store your hose. Above and beyond that, your TV satellite hookup is right at your fingertips, and this has 30 amps, I'm sorry, 50 amp service because you've got dual AC units, uh, 50 amp service. So one thing about that, the insulation, R Factor 8 insulation, and Airstream by design will be seven to 10 degrees cooler in the summer, 10 to 50 degrees, 15 degrees warmer in the winter. These bad boys are very well insulated. With that awning system out, that's going to protect your refrigerator, mean it's going to function a little more uh, efficiently. Then you have the dual axle system. These are all rubber torsion axles, independent wheels. By the way, there are brakes on each individual wheel, and you have a shock absorber system. So I've, I've ridden thousands of miles on the inside of an Airstream going to visit my grandpa. Guess what? I know what it's like on the inside. It's protecting your stuff. Nothing better than an Airstream. By the way, just quickly, pointing out the dual radius back windows. This is what I love about the 27. Does it get any better than this from the standpoint of the light pouring in? Come on around, Ian. Okay, Ian, uh, the back end of an Airstream. What's cool about it? First of all, you got a bumper. You got a storage bumper, which gives you all of that access. Above and beyond that, this, of course, is situated with the overhead awning. You've got that tempered glass. But I wanted to quickly point out LED lamps. LED lamps for uh, not only backing, 
All of your running lamps are all LED. Inside, outside, LED. What does that mean? Well, the bottom line is on this trailer, Ian, it's going to be around a lot longer than you and I. Come on around. Hey, Ian, you've got, of course, 25 feet of uh, awning on this thing, but what I love is how they build these things. First of all, all aluminum welded. You've got the uh, people protector. You've got the kid and the dog protector. And when you close the door on an Airstream, it closes. You have the inside radius uh, screen door, and then of course, you have the beautiful, uh, with light pouring in, it's all butt riveted radius. You've got kind of that aircraft uh, design, utilizing solid uh, aluminum hardware. It takes Airstream eight hours to manufacture that door. That really says a lot, and it captures the screen door when you close. So when you think about just what Airstream does to create the entry door, wow. Let's check out the International. Okay, Ian, 27 foot International Signature. A lot of drama created when you walk in, of course, but what strikes me is the amount of light that dumps in. What I mean by that is the, uh, the radius Airstream windows, the Vista View windows, you have the panoramics that are dumping uh, light in. You have the overhead skylight, which dumps light in. And then your Airstream portal windows, along with your door. So unlike other manufacturers out there who avoid windows, let the light in. That's what Airstream is all about. And if sure enough, does, what does that accent? It accents this beautiful oyster leather. By the way, this is ultra leather. Uh, came to us, frankly, from Mercedes-Benz. And what this leather does is it breathes. What that means is it can adapt to your body temperature. No hot sticky in the summer, no cool slick in the winter. It's going to take the abuse from uh, dogs, kids, uh, you know, whatever you got to throw at it. And let's face it, if you ever damage one of the cushions because it's consistent in its color, then you just replace the cover. Kind of fun. So you have the dual drop down dinette here. And you also have that beautiful option of having a pullout double. So immediately, yes, all of a sudden, the 27 becomes a six sleeper. Um, notice, please, these beautiful backlit cabinetry. Now, everything, once again, we talked about is all LED lighting. So you have backlit cabinetry over the dinette. You have backlit cabinetry over the whole galley area. It just sets up beautifully. Um, the other thing, that for 2015, They've added the Clarion system. Um, you want to blow the doors off the kids inside here? Let's do that. Uh, the other, and by the way, it's got a subwoofer, which you can uh, kind of vary as far as the, uh, the input and output. You have the beautiful plank floor leading into the Oyster Ultra Leather, and then, of course, accenting that with the uh, light Corian cabinetry. Um, so once again, oh, I don't want to point, miss pointing out, we have these beautiful, um, overhead fantastic fans. I love these. Uh, you have a membrane on here, by the way. If it's raining and you happen to forget to put your fantastic fan down, guess what? Any water gets to that membrane, this will automatically close. And it's got thermostat control on it, varying speeds as far as fans. So I love what we can do, being able to take tens of thousands of cubic feet of air and move it through, certainly with all the options we have as far as windows in the 27. Let's check out the galley. The galley on the 27. Uh, you, you have this beautiful Corian surfaces, deep well, stainless steel. You've got the uh, beautiful appliances made by Growy, uh, which certainly accent everything. The wonderful little, uh, I guess you call them signature, porthole windows into uh, the 27. Everything is done with ocean air shades. Uh, that to me, with the brushed steel look here, is just in a very efficient system as far as Airstream um, signature is concerned. And then of course you have the overhead backlit uh, LED cabinets. All the brains of the operation is right here, meaning that you have your full monitor system which allows you to monitor your battery, your uh, black water, your gray water, to give you the uh, opportunity to see how much fresh water you have. You have uh, GFI outlets here, 
And then of course you have that inverter system, that invert, every trailer comes with a converter, but this we've equipped, we've equipped with a thousand watt inverter. There are a dedicated um, additional outlets for that inverter system which will allow you to go off grid, uh, boondock if you will, so you can plug in computers, have fun, uh, off the planet if you will. Uh, stainless steel overhead uh, uh, protector here for a three burner high output range. You've got, uh, and once again, storage. When it comes to storage in the uh, international, well, uh, I really believe that it's probably one of the best on the planet. And then, of course, you have the fun stuff. This is a pantry with uh, the hidden microwave. And then, of course, you have the actual systems and the pantry itself. Done in this beautiful brushed ebony uh, matte finish, which to me is just, it really uh, sets things off. We won't forget our Dometic system here, done with the brushed steel accents. Uh, seven and a half cubic feet of uh, space, refrigerator, freezer. And the Dometic system, frankly, it's got a brain and it doesn't get any better than that. Let's go midship. I love the design of the 27 because what it allows us to do is separate our cabins. If we have guests, uh, we can utilize the master. Still, someone can have access to the uh, lavatory. Someone can have access to the shower. This also gives you the dual uh, wardrobe, which of course is a tremendous amount of storage space. And then of course the access into the lavatory, which this is kind of cool because what this is is that signature porthole done by Airstream, your kind of a fun look into the lavatory. But let's not forget once again the light that pours into our lavatory area, meaning that whether we're utilizing our overhead LED, which is on rheostats, or not. And then we also have that secondary enclosure which allows us to separate either our guests or ourselves uh, from the master bedroom uh, to the midship. I love this. Come on back. Beaded glass shower. Uh, you've got that full closure door. Uh, a big guy can uh, certainly make use of this uh, shower. You've got vented 12 volts. You have uh, overhead LED. So the shower setup is good. Let's check out the lavatory. Starting with the porcelain pedestal toilet, moving our way into the Wilson Art Lament stainless steel sink, lots of the uh, wood grain uh, ebony along with overhead uh, mirrors. You have uh, vented 12 volt with a lot of light. The, and the great thing about this lavatory, plenty of room to change your socks. Master bedroom in the 27. Uh, the panoramic windows that wrap around. The uh, facing uh, side uh, radius airstream windows for all that light to pour in. And then of course, let's not forget what airstream does with its storage. You have all that beautiful storage done with the bins so that you're completely accessible. You've got uh, overhead LED reading lamps. You've got twin uh, nightstands on either side that have not only the GFI outlets, but they also have USB ports on both sides. An additional 22-inch uh, HD LED TV comes with. And then, of course, you also have in the master is your set it and forget it Dometic um, temperature controls so that you can make sure you're handling all the heating, all the cooling at one touch, which by the way, let's not forget this also is equipped with heat pumps. The heat pumps have strips on the actual condensers of the overhead Dometic AC units, which by the way, we know in 2015, we went to that ducted AC. That is the game changer. Uh, they've done some pretty neat things for 2015, not the least of which is the Quiet Stream AC. Also, by the way, a new memory foam uh, queen mattresses, so they want you to have the comfort with everything that goes with. Uh, I love the master bedroom in the 27. Ian, once again, thank you for uh, reaching out to Hey to See Airstream. Um, give me a shout out so we can talk 27. 
I want to uh, just thank you once again for uh, all your interest in Airstream. My phone is area code 614-279-8880 or you can get me at eric at uh, Two things I always tell my customers, enjoy the journey, uh, but most of all, happy camping. <laughs>